Being a successful designer can be challenging. You have to keep up with the trends and sharpen your skills project after project. But with every milestone, there comes a burden of management. It becomes difficult to handle multiple projects, stakeholders, clients, and after a point, efficiency decreases over time. This loop of not having an efficient management system is the reason why most people struggle to have an independent design career. But no, you don't need to feel discouraged and no, you don't need to hire 20 people for it. All you need is the right tool and the right guide to teach you time management and make you more organized. There are hundreds of videos on time management on YouTube, but none of them will be effective without this tool. Notion is every hustler's best friend, is the only productivity app you need. From top CEOs to freelancers to everybody uses this to enhance their workflow. I've been using it for the last four years and it has made my work absolutely simple and easy. And those who are not using it are missing out a lot. In today's video, I will walk you through my notion so that you can get a change your procrastination to productivity. When I was starting off in my career, I always carried a small diary with me to note down important tasks or reminders or even my to-do lists. Two years later, the diary was replaced by my phone, but there were 10 different apps that I used for 10 different things. Microsoft To-Do for daily tasks, Google Calendar for routine activities, Calendly for meetings, Trello for project management, Evernote for note-taking, Excel for databases and statistics. The list just got heavier with time until I came across Notion. People all over the world are making aesthetic dashboards and romanticizing productivity in a way that makes them much more efficient than us. And then I thought, let's give it a shot. So I downloaded the app and started exploring a bit by bit. Honestly, when I first saw the number of features, I just couldn't control my excitement. If you press a backslash on the screen, you can see a list of things that you can do with it. Toggle, headings, to-do list, tables, pages, URL links, images. With all of these features, you can make your own dashboard that suits your need. And it's the best blend of productivity and aesthetics. And this is my notion. As you see, I do tons of things out here. The things that you see on the left panel are the different things that I do. And I've also marked some of them as my favorites, which are nothing but my YouTube content, my real content, my LinkedIn posts, Twitter threads, in-person talks. And of course, in addition to that, many other things which I keep doing, right? If you see, there's also a folder for Swiggy work. But when I actually do my Swiggy related work, I move to a completely different world. Coming back, if you see, this tracks a lot of things inside. For example, this course that I had made for Growth School, when I click on it, it shows the different modules that I had built. And each module is nothing but a document which has a detailed description of all the things that I had done. And these are nothing but the scripts of the videos which I have finally recorded. Not just that, I even did a complete research before buying home right here on Notion. So if you see, these were the different properties which I had shortlisted and I have written pros and cons and tons of other things inside each one of them before I narrowed down into one property. And this musings is nothing but something that I'm planning for a medium term thing, which you'll probably get to know uh, in a couple of years, if not before. Now, if you look at the real section, which I use most often, this is nothing but a Kanban board. And whenever I have ready to shoot something, I add the scripts out here and they remain. And the moment I'm done with shooting, I just move them to the ready to edit section so that my editors know that it's ready for editing and they go to the respective folders to start editing them. The fewer steps you have, the easier it will be for you to complete them. It's a golden rule of productivity. Notion was good in itself, but like every other user, sometimes even I had one thing in my mind. Only if Notion and Google Calendar had a baby. <laughs> because it becomes a hassle to check your to-do list on one app and then block your time on another. For me, this thing had led to some teeny tiny mess in the past and I don't want you to do the same. So here's Notion's brand new feature that will save your time and make you more organized. Notion Calendar is much more efficient and it completes your productivity package. Time management is very important skill no matter what you are or what you do. With the booming hustle culture, founders, managers, interns, freelancers, everybody needs to master it in 2024. And for doing this, you need to block your time, schedule properly and follow a routine. Here are five ways how Notion Calendar will help you achieve it. Number one, Notion Page Sync. You can easily put in tasks from your Notion dashboard and export them to Calendar without any mess. Transparent ability. Imagine a high paying client has booked a call with you, but later you realize you're not available at the time. Rescheduling might sound unprofessional and a client might change their minds. So to avoid such situations, Notion Calendar ensures to give the space for transparent availability. You can share your slots when you are free and your team and clients can book a suitable time. This ensures zero clashes and zero mess. 
LDR or Long Distance Remote Calls. When dealing internationally, no matter how smart you are, you are bound to get confused with the time differences. You might schedule meetings at the wrong time, especially if you have a client from the US, a country with six different time zones. I don't need to elaborate on how bad this can be. Notion Calendar helps you arrange overseas call in a simple and reliable way. Just check the time zone and schedule with no mistakes. Time blocking. Hustle is good, but it's even better with a balance. You can work as much as you want, but devoting time to relax is equally important for your well-being. I often block at least an hour a day for my hobby. This makes me feel re-energized and boosts my energy, but obviously I don't want my colleagues to see that and I also don't want any work-related message in that hour. So I schedule my leisure hours on Notion Calendar, block my time and change my availability from free to busy. In this way, people on my team know I'm busy, but they don't know what I'm busy with. Full privacy, healthy balance. It's hassle-free. The best part is that there's a very little room for any mistakes. You can't accidentally duplicate events. Besides, there's no fuss about having clashes between tasks from different workspaces. If you have multiple meetings in a day from different workspaces, you can schedule them here and still see all of them together like an overview. Isn't this super cool? You can download the Notion app and the calendar from the link in the description. And wait, there's more. So just when one problem got solved, another problem popped up. Having an integrated calendar makes things very smooth, but in 2024, every creative person knows the importance of AI. Usually my creative process works like this. I write ideas in Notion and take notes while using AI to add a little spark and help me work on them. But brainstorming becomes difficult if you have to switch between apps, especially these days when everyone has attention span of a toddler. <laughs> it's easy to lose motivation in the process. If you agree, then this another feature of Notion will be a lifesaver for you. It's called Notion Q&A, the best AI tool that acts like your personal assistant. It's amazing what all it can achieve. Not only can it enhance your creative process and help you with brainstorming, but also simplify your Notion dashboards for you. Let me show you an example. So I'll just press Command Shift and K and this will open up this small model. And there, there's an option called Ask AI in Subtarshi's Notion. I can also access the same thing by clicking on the small icon that you see out here, which is Ask AI. And this is going to open up this. Now, unlike ChatGPT, I can ask questions about my own Notion. For example, so today in this meeting, I want to discuss two things with my my teams. One is the hooks of some of the reels that we have just posted and the ready to edit date of one of the reels because I feel the editing is taking a little more time. So I'm going to ask some questions around it. So I can either browse through this entire dashboard, which looks organized, but then it has a lot of content inside, or I can simply ask AI to do that for me. Let's go ahead and ask, when was the logo lab reel ready to edit? Let's see what it does. And there it is. It says the logo lab reel was ready to edit four days ago. Means it was made ready to edit four days ago. So I can go and tell my team that it was made ready to edit four days ago. Why isn't that ready or whatever I want to do with that, right? So I didn't have to browse through this entire dashboard. I could simply ask AI for it. Similarly, I can ask AI to find what were the hooks in the last three reels and there it is it figured out what hook is it scanned through my notion it read through my last three reels and it has just shown me the hooks that i have used in the last three reels so if i want to do a retrospective of this with my teams i have the information right in front of me which i don't have to go and read through all the documents which are present here and finally it's not like any other chatbot it's contextual, which means it's trained to sense the context based on your questions and your workspace and not just certain keywords to give you an answer. It's free, super efficient, and just like a virtual assistant. If you're already a Notion AI user, you can get started today with Q&A. Do check out the links in the description. With these new features, I hope you feel confident about being productive. I want to end this video by reminding you that there are three P's that should not exist in the same room. Productivity, procrastination, and panic. And with the right tools, you can achieve all your goals easily without burnout. Notion offers you everything that you need to become your best version. It's the decade of survival of the smartest. If you found this video to be helpful, hit that like button. Comment below how you would use Notion for your work and subscribe for more such content.